All right, well, I thought I'd try maybe a new crossword type of puzzle. I think it's like a crossword. I've never done one of these before, but it's called Code Words. And I thought it sounded, it basically just from the name, I thought Code Words sounded interesting. So uh, I'm going to take a look at it and see what, what it is. This is from The Telegraph. Okay, so, all right, how to play. Let me get that on the screen so it looks nice. All right, so here we go. Here's the instructions. Okay, in Code Words, numbers are substituted for letters. Work out which number corresponds to which letter. Oh, okay, so like the two is L, so therefore all the twos are L. Okay, so it's like, uh, you can kind of see in the background there, we've got numbers in the grid. So it's like a crossword, except the same number is always the same letter. Some letters are given to start you off. Every letter is used at least once in the puzzle and the completed grid contains no proper nouns. Okay. Interesting. Let's get started, okay. Let's get started. Let me make things look nice on the screen there first. All right, there we go. So, um, interesting. So when you click on a cell, it looks like, yep, okay. So if we click there, we've got all the sevens. Here we've got all the 18s. Ooh, 18 is interesting because it is, uh, there's only one of them in the grid. There's a lot of 19s. So that's one thing we can do is like 19, there's so many of them. It's not gonna be like a QXZ, something like that. It's probably gonna be like an A, an E, um, some sort of a vowel probably, it could be like a T or an L or an R. Um, 18 is one that's probably like an X or a Q or a Z. So, knowing that, we've got the H here, so the last letter is gonna be an unusual one. The one, eh, middle of the road, and the 14, not too many, so, and we can't do, okay, so I'm gonna say maybe this is W, uh, I'm gonna say whiz, for this one because the Z makes sense the W makes sense to have four of them in the grid right and SW works pretty good up here um, now the 17 is one that's not very many as well now this could be like you know like a Q or something but QS is not good at the end here it could be a K K is not too bad although the K up here the second letter when we don't have an S to go before it. It's not great, but it's possible. Um, ooh, this WH, I just noticed that. That's not great. That's not great. So, ooh, yeah, I'm not liking that anymore. Okay, maybe not WH, but, uh, Interesting, because whatever comes here at the be has to be at the beginning of the word WH, but it also has to be at the end of the word WH. And this seven is the same letter twice in that word. And it's at the beginning, oh, as well as, okay, so, could that be a P maybe? I don't really like P something H here. also something H at the beginning of this word. What about T? TH. That works pretty good. This this last this 14 is the one that's causing me trouble here. What about C? It could be C. There's not very many of them in the grid, but that's possible. This isn't too bad. Something like thatch. And I liked Z there, but could be an X as well. But I'm not sure what. Mm, Z's not good there anyways, because it's SZ then, and SX isn't good either. Okay, so it's not it's not gonna be X or Z, because it has to come after the S. Um I mean it could just be another random letter that happens to only be in the grid once. That's certainly possible. Okay, what about down here? What's this gonna be? We've got, um, what about like, theist? E and I, those would be, there'd be a lot of I's in the grid, but that's, that's possible. It feels like there would be more E's than this in the grid. But, or, or we could do, uh, uh, this could be, th uh, thirst. Oh, maybe. I, there we go. 
Thirst, and then STRI. This is really good. This is really good. This could be Chip. There could just be one P. I mean, it's possible. Springy? Um, no. Spring. Uh, this, I mean, I like. Ooh, there's only one of these. So I like Shaver. Shaver is good, because V is good to have just one of, potentially. Um, what is this? Artet. This could be Scream. And Dreams? That's looking decent. Um, what is this gonna be? There's only two of those. And what's, what would this be with the V there? Yeah, maybe not a V. I like the E though, because look, we get street and teeter, and this ends in here. So this is working well so far. So far. Um, shaker and sprinkle. There we go. There's only two L's. Well, so, oh, and sleeve and cave. There's our V. Yep, yep, sleeve and cave. Ambience, ambience. Badger and string. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Absurd. S string quartet. There's our Q. This is pro Oh, it can't be beer. Um, it can't be veer. I'm gonna wait and come back to that one. Uh, 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 <laughs> I feel like I should be able to tell what that is. If, against ele elegant. No. Anywhere, anywhere, Dawn, that's good. There's only one W and two Ys. F, Igency, F, X, Exigency, Exigency. Oh, that's a t now I don't feel so bad about not thinking of that. That's a tough word. Um, it can't be bridge. This is, th that's gotta be a vowel. What We've got A, E, I, we haven't done O yet. Throne, throne, of course. There's only one O in the grid? Wow. Okay, have we done all the vowels now? A, E, I, O, U, Y, yeah, okay. What letters do we have left? We've only got three letters. What do we have left? We need F, uh, J, F and J. We need J, Jeer. It's gonna be the J up here, Jeer. We have F, Fridge, Freezer. There we go. All right. And that time, by the way, is way over what it actually was because the time started as soon as I loaded the page while I was going through the instructions, fixing things on the screen. So um, just to be clear, it was much faster than 11 minutes. That was that was pretty cool. I've never done uh, a Code Witch puzzle before. That was pretty neat. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, it was as easy as it was. I thought it was going to be much harder than that. Um, maybe I just got lucky. Maybe today's was just extra easy. I don't know. If you've done code words before. Uh, let me know, is this one easier, harder than usual? Um, and if you did today's code words puzzle, uh, let me know how it went for you. Which word you had the hardest time with. Pretty cool. Alright, so let me know what you think of this, and if you'd like to see me do some more code words in the future, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. We'll pick a random available seat. Why? Who knows? That's just the kind of thing hypothetical passengers do. Um, that's pretty good. Let's go with that. Wow! No way! <laughs> yeah, I mean, either a part or short could be right, or neither of them could be right, who knows? I mean, 20 times 11 is 220, then we would need to add 53, 40 plus 13 is 53. There we go, 11 times 20, 220, 